Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome to Sim UK. Welcome to Lake. Brand new game that's just come out, 1st of September 2021. And um, it sounds pretty chilled out, uh, I've got to say. Very much liking the opening screen. Let's go have a quick look in settings. See, we're running 4K 60Hz. I had to change that from 30 to 60. That's okay. Graphics are quality level high. Can I change that? I can't see a way to change that. How about if I use my mouse? I can put it on ultra. Light quality stays at medium. Interesting. Okay, we'll keep that. Uh, Minimap on. Rotation on. Vehicle follow camera forward only. Player follow camera off. Okay. So I've been given permission from the devs to keep the music in the game. I think the music is a key part to the game. So we shouldn't have any issues. And, uh, right, here we go. Accelerate, map, brake, agenda, steer, interact, car horn, toggle radio, and the B button doesn't do anything at all. Interesting. Okay. Right, I have no idea what to expect. Hopefully it'll be something good. And, uh, oh, what's going on with my face camera? Let me just see if I can get my my ugly face. My ugly boat race, how you doing? Right, let's get into this. So the main character is Meredith Weiss, or Wise. And uh, she's taking a break from the big city. Going back to her hometown to deliver mail, no less. And what we do here is entirely up to us. Which is quite cool. I like that open-endedness. That uh, freedom to just explore and do what you want. Certainly sounds good to me. And it looks very, very nice. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Funny how a program designed to help organise your life is the reason why I can't be at the Labour Day party. But I'm glad we made the deadline. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Province Oaks. Phone rings. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, but do you really have to? Oh, uh, I hate that. Two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Alrighty then. Got a very pushy boss. Well, I don't know. He seems alright. 1986. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Frank. Oh, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. 
Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. Who? Oh. Look at this. I get why it's called Lake now. This lake, it's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this <laughs> bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Easy. I like this. I like the art design. Reminds me of something. Easy peasy. This is very much looking like my kind of game. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Um, uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Okay. Select parcel 103 High Street. I'm oh, assuming that's where we're. Heavier than I thought. Do I put it in there? That front door of the house. Okay. Look at this. What a lovely house. Ding dong. Nope. No answer. I'm calling it a day. Seen some very interesting videos about people who create traps for people who steal packages. Quite right too, I'd You're say. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Alrighty. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Adios. Cool. Well, we got ourselves a new job. I'm not sure our old boss knows that we've got a new job. Let's have a little look see here. I Binky. Frank and Binky. Alright. So this is my parents' house, apparently. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. 
Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Mm. Forming opinions about Steve already. Tuesday, September Good 2nd. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Morning, Frank. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Thanks. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! Alright, looks like we're on our own. How cool is that? Whoa! <laughs> Okay, so we got one letter for Bear Creek, then loads for Lake Road. Where's Main Street then? Well, that's Main Street, so let's do 103 Main Street. Alrighty. It's pretty quiet. It's going to pull across the road here. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Oh. Bit of history starting up already. Right, uh, one Bear Creek. That's Lake Road. Lake Road. There's Bear Creek. So, uh, 102 Lake Road. 200 Lake Road. So it doesn't show me the route that I'm going to take, which is interesting. Just my final I'm destination. Actually enjoying this. Yeah, I'm actually enjoying this at the moment. It's very good. Hey, all over the place. Mighty Ambrose River. Very nice. This one. There's a cat in this one. Right, so this one's a parcel. And this is 200 Lake Road. Oh, look at that, it must be someone's birthday. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Oh, wow. Lots of cats. Goodness me. Oh, look, Genevieve! A new mailman! Hello there! What's your name then? Uh, well, I'm actually not a mailman. Well, I'm not a mailman exactly. I'm Meredith Weiss. Heavens, I meant no offense. It's just that male woman doesn't sound right, does it, Genevieve? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Uh. It's Meredith. Wouldn't want the cat to get it wrong. Oh, pardon me then. You do remember me, don't you? No. Uh. Hi, 
how could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? We're not so getting on very I well at all. Slightly more of them than I used to. Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes. Yes. Here you go. It's not guess what it ah, is. Thank you, Might dear. upset her. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Bless. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Meow. <laughs> Alrighty. So far, so good. In a few days, I won't even need that now. Yeah, it's not that big a place, is it? Oh, look at this. package in the truck. Oops, I didn't realise it was a package. Okay. Three hundred Lake Road. Let's just give it to Hi the there. lady. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The, the goose? goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Tis Providence wobbly. Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PO than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Yes. All right. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. Nice. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Lori. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. We're not going to hit the top of the gas station roof, are we? I wonder if this, uh, this vehicle has damage. Again. Oh, we're off the main road now. Look at this old bridge. Oh, right, Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. Oh, crikey. Oops. Looks like the collision detection is a little bit off. Something's there. Something invisible. We're trying to turn around. Alrighty. There's a new face. Yes, indeed. 
As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you, Robert. Likewise, I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I better open this right away. Oh, what the? That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. <laughs> Freshly baked bull crap. Lovely. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Sure. Sorry, Robert. Oh, being overly friendly. Do apologize. All right. Onwards and upwards. So at this point I have no idea what the game is all about. I have no idea what's going to happen, if anything at all. We may just spend the rest of our time delivering mail and parcels. I haven't a clue. We are meeting some of the locals. Where are we exactly? Oh, okay. Well, I'm going the very, 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 very long way round, but, uh... Get to enjoy the lovely scenery. Square is a horn. What's down there? There's no speed there or anything, have you noticed? Whoa, 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 crikey. Okay, the AI are lethal. Goodness me. I think I scratched I used it. I to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. <laughs> Truck seems okay. Hardly my fault. In all honesty, I think I saved us from a more serious accident. Look at that, isn't that stunning? Some houses over there as well. We don't have mail today. There's trucks and everything here. Alright, Moe's Diner. And there's Stan's Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? What happened to Stan? 500 Lake Road. I don't actually see a post box. I'm going to have to take it inside, I guess. I'd like to go to America, to a little village like this. Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right. That's a funny uh, introduction. Hello to well, you, Maureen. hello to you too, Maureen. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. Okay. One quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. I bet it so, does. Coffee? Something stronger? 
I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee. Coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You <laughs> had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. What, a whole pie? Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. <laughs> oh, that's Ashley? Funny. Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> My camera gone off again. Oh my god. What's going on today? Let's get rid of it. Uh... Maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Go down that one. Oh, you can see the map better now as well. Jolly good. Alrighty. Homeward bound. One delivery left. There's a boat out there, look. Been a spot of fishing, no doubt. I wonder if there's any bears in the vicinity. So we've got one more parcel to deliver. And the high street's alive. There are people about. That's cool. Oh, hang on. Right, what's going on here? What am I not getting right? Give me the parcel. Thank what you. What on earth did these folks order? Kind of crazy. Howdy. General store. Okay. Let's pop in. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now uh, you're back, huh? I know what it's like. Actually, this is only temporary. <sighs> That's what I said too, a long time ago. I wonder if it's going to rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Well, she's awfully uh, upbeat and positive, isn't she? So, I mean, if that's our daily job and we get paid for doing that... Oh my god, look at the traffic congestion I've caused. <laughs> I'm sorry. Apologies. Sorry.
Job done. End of the work day. All right, cool. Ah, it's very chilled out and relaxed. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? Oh, uh... Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. It is. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. <laughs> I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and Dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Sounds like he's avoiding her. Read a book. The Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter One. Chapter One. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schultenbrow. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstauben estate. Raubenstauben. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. That's much Suddenly, worse. she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? Ooh, it's that kind of book. Alrighty. A new day, a new dollar. Good morning, Providence Oak. So, we got a few up this way today, and then it's uh, very much the usual with one at the motel. Okay, let's do it. We're starting the day as we always do, with a PO positive or pet B, followed by the weather. PO positive. PO positive. Oh my god, this thing does not get around corn as well. It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Thank mm. you much, Dale. Mm. That makes blueberry me want to get a piece right now. Gotta love that blueberry pie. Two oh seven. Two oh five. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? Oh. Little Miss Detective today. Alright, let's get going. What's this? A flick snack, I think that says. I'm not entirely sure. We've got a parcel. Hey, is that Karate Kid? The Kung Fu Kid. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, wow. What this is set. I was eight years order? old in 86. Look, there's, there's a Ghostbusters one. That's so cool. Back to the Future. It's like my three... <gasps> Oh my god, and the labyrinth! It's like my four favourite films ever in the window, that's so cool. I'm getting I'm getting more into this game now I by the second. I think I grabbed the wrong package. What? Oh. Ah, <clears throat> excuse me. 351 main, let me just uh, pay attention this time. Yeah, 351 main. That's where I'm at. Although that package does look different. Hello. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. Thank you. <laughs> Is that a compliment? 
Trust me, it definitely is. Oh, thank you. Much. Then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Ah. Uh. Well, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here, came to do myself a favor. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Touche, yes. indeed. So, your dream was to rent out videotapes? Not a dream, per se. More like a vision. <laughs> Ooh. Figured in a sleepy town like this, people don't have much to do anyways. Might as well watch a flick, right? Well, other than enjoy the scenery. Scenery schmeery. Why stare at a boring lake when you can go to outer space and watch the Death Star get blown up? Hmm. hmm. Maybe I should watch more movies. Maybe I should. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? <laughs> uh, my kind of humor. <laughs> my kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. I'll right. check it out if I have I'll the time. I'll check it out if I have the time. Thank you. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. All right. We've got to check out some of these videos. You've got Repo Man. You've got Scarface, which is <laughs> written as Sar. As in Tazar, the Tsar face, which is very cool. Uh, you got the the fly instead of the bee. You got gremlins instead of gremlins. What else have we got here? <sighs> the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I didn't even need to read that. I knew what it was. The Odd Father. This is brilliant. We've come up with some superb names. Some of the best movies. Me Man. <laughs> Schwarzwald. The Thermominator. <laughs> That's so cool. The Brunch Bunch, as opposed to the Breakfast Gang. Oh my god, LGM, as opposed to ET. What else have we got here? Sorry, am I in your way? Do apologize. The Friendly Dead. Oh, that's, um, oh, what's that? Oh god, I can't think of the name of that one. I know what that is. Blade Jogger. We know what that one is. Blade Runner, obviously. Um, Susie Lee. I don't know what that is. Not sure I recognize that one. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Good, bad, duck feet. Good, bad, duck feet. From Clint Peckwood. Good, bad, and the ugly. The ugly duckling. Got it very clever okay I think that's all of them some half price movies there and weirdly they're the same movies but uh, yeah that's cool a little trip down memory lane there for me thank you very much I enjoyed that right let's get on with our job doesn't appear to be a clock so it's not like I'm against the clock or anything like that it's just a uh, Oop, bonk, bonk. Just a chilled out experience. Now, which one is it? This one? Four zero to my god look at that is that an eagle sure I just saw an eagle massive bird of some sort could have been a pterodactyl I suppose yes 402 Pine Street oh I gotta take it to the door
Ding dong. Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. That's a cool moment. Yep. We're the Evans family. Wow. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. <laughs> sure. Here you go. Um. Nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait. What? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? You don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. Wow, I didn't expect to see you here. That makes two of us. Got me there. You've lived in Providence Oaks all this time? Don't sound so surprised. But yes. I married Barry. Evans. I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Ooh. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so... Time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while, from Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is gonna have a field day. Nope. Huh. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said. A lot of things happened while you were away. Oh. Also, I work there now, at the diner. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. I can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. Hmm. You can say that again. I feel like she's got a thing for Mr. Evans. Or did, 22 years ago. Alrighty. Long way to go. Lots of packages and parcels to deliver, so let's get moving. Lovely little town. Even though you wear it well, lower down the bridge and let me in. Will you? You'll never get to have a sudden urge to play Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> it just seems to be reminding me of uh, of that game a little bit. That's not what I meant earlier when I said it reminds me of something else. It did remind me of another game, I think. Oh. That's a little aggressive. Hey, Mom and Dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't Siegler. think they ever mentioned them. Alrighty. I'll just park in the middle of the street. I think that'd be fine. 203.
Hello, Mrs. Cat ears. What was her name? Oh. Meryl, dear! So glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. Is it? What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. Oh, no. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. Well, fact is, you're not a vet, are you? Do you know who knows about animals, though? It's Mr. Mackey. He runs the old bait shop by the lake. Could you take Mortimer to him? Sure. Sure. I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty. Come on. Wonderful. Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. Okay. We're going to put this in the back. And we're going to put this in the car. Cool. And we're off. Guess we'll take the long route round again. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's on autopilot. No hands. I can't show you because my camera's broken, but... Yeah, the game's driving itself. Have a look at this fantastic scenery. Look, look at that. Imagine that. Imagine living in a place like this. That would be incredible. So we've got to take uh, Mrs. Jenkins' cat to the local vet, or uh, the local cat whisperer, whatever the case is. Veering all over the road now, what's going on? Oh my god, we're going to crash! Disengage that for a second, pull into the motel. if I pick up the parcel? Oh, okay. I can put the cat in the back. That's cool. Oh, did I not get the parcel? Come on. That's twice now. I'm having parcel problems. Yes. Nope. Still having problems. What am I not seeing here? Something in the UI. Pick up. What on earth do these folks order? The Oregon Trail Motel. Cool. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. He's a geek. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. Is that a parcel Rude. for me? Yes, sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. You're welcome. Yep. Alrighty, rude boy. Good job I have manners, isn't it? Make up for yours. Oh look, the cat's in the front with me again. 
Uh, right. We're going to take... Okay, I can't put a marker down or auto-drive, so... We have to do it ourselves. Over the dam. I've been running on empty. Taking liberties now. Definitely driving too fast. Okay, I think it's here. Wow, this is my kind of place. Look at this. Right. So the cat's in the front, but I'm going to get it out of the back, I think. Okay, there's definitely a problem. Select. Must be a little bug. Bait, tackle and boat rental. Open May, June, July and August. Currently closed. Now which door do I go to? Ha. Huh. Cool. Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Well, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? But to be honest, I have no idea. <sighs> Leave him with me. I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. It's an obedient cat. Look how many fish he's caught today. And a starfish as well, by the looks of things. So cool. Proper fishing boats and everything. I'd love to know if the developers actually lived by a lake like this, that would be quite, quite something. Crikey, this, uh, this episode is almost an hour long. That actually kind of went by pretty fast for me. So I think I'll take the uh, truck back to the depot and end the job and uh, come back to this game another day and uh, see what else is going to happen. We've met some of the locals, probably not all the locals, but uh, yeah, I mean, somewhere I'd like to live, I can tell you that. 
run up sticks and move my family there in an instant. Fabulous. Meredith, hi. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? Uh... I guess, but... That's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, <sighs> but not great. It needs your magic. I don't Do you like think this you guy. Can add it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and funny as well as ass. Uh, nice one, Steve. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. How many pages are we talking about here? It's not much. It's just the pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. Can't be more than 100 pages. I can uh, just send it to your post office, right? I guess. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. <sighs> What a guy, huh? What a guy. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's stay home and uh, watch The Postman Always Rings Twice. Why not? All right, well, let's watch this. Okay, oh, so... Oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. That's nice of Tess. Okay, so we, we're going to have a very, very busy day again. But uh, we'll leave that for next episode. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're relaxed. See you in the next one. Bye. For now.